If you're anything like me, then you spend unholy amounts of time at your editing station. You get distracted by your phones, you get frustrated with the lack of progress, and you burn out. Gee, that's me. What if I told you that you could enjoy editing again? No way. And I mean really enjoy it. Wrong. And that you could get more out of 30 minutes of concentrated editing than you could out of two hours of unstructured editing. It's an urban legend that never happened. It's important to know that this video isn't about how long you should spend on your whole project. This is about figuring out the amount of time that allows you to edit effectively without burning out. And then making a schedule around that amount of time that you can edit in chunks. Hello. It's me, Beanbag Phil, and we're gonna go through all of the boring stuff in a really fun way with me sitting on a beanbag telling you it. We're gonna edit this in three different times, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour, and then assess the pros and cons of each. So here's what we're working with, one audio file. And I hear what you're asking me, what is that audio file? Well, it's a conversation that I had with Cleverbot. That's right, that same Cleverbot AI conversation software that you used in school when you should have been working. That's why I like you. You can stay on this video. You can keep watching if you want. The conversation went about as planned. And uh, here it is. Once upon a time, there was a frog. He got the golden ball for the princess who didn't want to kiss him. He followed her home. They talked a bit. The frog and the girl. What does the fox say? What the fuck? And thank you to my friend Ed from Film Booth for doing the voiceover of that clip. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Finn, I've done my side of the bargain. Now, can you just release my mum? So are you ready? Hey, you better bean. I mean, be. You better be. be. Get it, beanbag. Get it. So let's get straight into it. Let's watch the final thing right now. Once upon a time, there was a frog. He got the golden ball for the princess who didn't want to kiss him. He followed her home. They talked a bit. The frog and the girl. What does the fox say? So yeah, that was 10 minutes. Uh, if you thought that was going to be good, then you're an idiot. Newsflash, big dum dum, big dum dum, dum like gum gum. Editing something like this in 10 minutes is just, you know, it's it's obviously gonna look this bad. The only reason someone would wanna do it like this is because they either want it to look bad or they're crunching real hard on a deadline. If that's the case, then you're probably gonna get fired for good. As soon as I hit the start button on the timer, my eight brain knew that I had to go on Photoshop to get the story out. The first thing I did was jump onto Google and start Googling the backgrounds. I only had 10 minutes, so I had to go with the first pictures I saw. I had no choice, but luckily with Photoshop, all you had to do was copy and paste rather than save the image like you would in Premiere. Time saving. The same went with the characters. I just looked up PNGs of people or frogs and then just hand animated it like this. That's right, no keyframes. No keyframes. Bad, bad keyframes. I've actually had some practice with this effect. I used it on my last DaVinci Resolve video. It's a funny effect, but like I, I wouldn't use it more than once because it would just get old quick. So all I had to do in Premiere was size it up, chop it up, and then drag and drop it up with the voiceover. <laughs> so there it is, 10 minutes, done and dusted. We learned absolutely nothing. Moving straight on to 30 minutes. It's me, baby! Sam's been no, Finn, please! Please stop it! Stop it, no, please! I was just about to I'm gonna sail you! I'm gonna sail you, man! I'm gonna sail you right now! I'm gonna sail you! I'm gonna sail you! I'm gonna sail you! I'm gonna sail you! No! time tracking tool so I can see how long I've been editing for. Bro, it's the intelligent time tracking tool that tells you exactly how long you've been doing that thing for. Whoa. This thing automatically tracks and categorizes your work in real time. This reveals to you exactly what your day looks like and what you get up to. If I, maybe I don't want to see that. It's like looking in a mirror. A lot of you won't like what you see, but only the strongest will do it. One of the best things about Rise is that it can help you prevent burnout and help build healthy working habits with automatic break notifications. Look at this! I'm gonna take a break now. Rise is completely customizable. You can categorize everything you want in the category you want. Use my code FINZAR in the link in the description. You could be one of the first thousand people to get 25% off the first three months of using Rise. Maximize your productivity today. Rise will also give you a 14 day free trial so you can test out the product before you buy it. That's how confident they are in their own product. Seriously, get on it. I use it every day, so. Oh, get out of here. All right, so 30 minutes. I mean, you could probably get some keyframes going in this thing. Whoa, I'm talking keyframes, real life keyframes. So let's watch the final video. Once upon a time, there was a frog. 
He got a golden ball for the princess who didn't want to kiss him. He followed her home. They talked a bit. The frog and the girl. What does the fox say? Wow. Still a little bit shit, but at least it's better than what we had before. And you know what? As primitive as it is, I quite enjoyed this one. And I had fun making it. I didn't spend too long on it. It's kind of janky in character. Like me. <laughs> so how did I make it? I hear you asking me, my dear, beautiful, darling viewer. Well, uh, keyframes. That's the thing we didn't touch before, but I touched a lot here. Please don't take that out of context. So of course, Google, backgrounds, transparent images, PNGs, perfect. I was on it from the get-go. I'd already done the 10 minute edit. I knew what I wanted. I had a little bit more time to look for what I wanted. When it came to keyframing, all I was doing was using the motion box, the, the first one, which is up this one, which means there's no motion blur, but I don't have to add any effects to it, therefore saving some time. You know, sometimes it's good not to have motion blur, especially with things like text. In this case, I probably could have used it and I, and I will use it in the one hour version, but in this one, time saving. Let's, let's, let's talk about time saving. So 30 minutes went by and I had designed a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece in keyframing. I mean, look at these keyframes. Tell me that's not beautiful. Changing the keyframes to make things have character whilst they were moving, it's pretty simple. You got these hands handles here, which you can change very quickly just by dragging them out, making different curve shapes. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And one thing you'll notice that I did in this is use a lot more cinematic effects, like cinematic booms with the audio. So yeah, I'd give that one a 6.9 out of 10. That, that was pretty good. good. I'd say this is pretty serviceable. I mean, it would suit being in like the middle of the video, definitely not on the intro because the intro needs something really polished. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> On to the final one, one hour. One hour, oh. I absolutely hate spending more than an hour at my computer. I hate it. Let's talk, let's let's watch the final bit. Once upon a time, there was a frog. He got a golden ball for the princess who didn't want to kiss him. He followed her home. They talked a bit. The frog and the girl. What does the fox say? Okay, that was, Obviously amazing, and um, I am the best editor on YouTube, so let's actually dive into what makes this look nicer. When the timer started, I had enough time to look on proper websites that give you actual assets to make backgrounds with and make cinematic effects with. So I use Production Crate. They have loads of assets which I can just choose from, and giving myself an hour to do this just gave me enough time to find the right ones to put in there. And I mean, There's a dog war going on outside. We're gonna carry on with the video anyway. We're gonna carry on with the video anyway. I also managed to add on the transform effect. So I was talking about motion blur earlier. The transform effect does actually add motion blur. I was able to make keyframes that were really smooth and then they had this motion blur just pumped onto it because I turned on the shutter angle all the way up to 360. So that's why things like this looked really nice. And I also used the letterbox effect, which is pretty handy. And I use that quite a lot. This just adds a kind of false sense of being in a cinema or something like that. And also heaps more in terms of audio design. Look at this. That's a big old chonky block of audio design. So this asks the question of how long should you edit for? And my answer to that question is about 45 minutes at a time. Your attention span has to be taken into consideration here. If you start getting bored of something around the 45 minute mark or the half an hour mark, you need to step away from the computer and take a break. And then you need to try and find a way to switch off your brain from YouTube. So what I do is go for a walk, or I'll go for a drive, I'll do some sort of chore around the house. Anything that could literally take my mind off it for just a little bit. And then when you come back to it, you feel way more fresh and you have way more ideas all of a sudden. And maybe the thing you just edited could even be changed after that because of that fresh perspective. I started doing that a lot more with my videos. I take breaks every 45 minutes and I come back to it with a new sense of energy and just having those short bursts of editing, really intense short bursts with breaks in between seems to really help with my motivation and just energy to carry on doing it. So that's it, that's my answer. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Maybe you enjoyed this video? Maybe you didn't. If you were taking a shit during this video, good job. Uh, it's that kind of video, so uh, yes. Thanks again to Rise for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it. Go and check out the link in the description to go get the use the code of Finzar. Anyways, get the hell out of here, please. Uh, you're starting to get on my nerves. I want to I wanna stop recording this video and go and take a break. Beanbag. Let's go, boy. I'm going to write this beanbag out of here. Yeah. Be bad.
Cause I kill it.